Good morning, everybody. Today, Robin and I are doing a little bit of housekeeping. I'm kind of taking over it a little bit this morning. Robin worked pretty late last night, so she's getting the morning off to just sit and relax and enjoy her coffee. Um, but today, we are looking at getting our visas for Thailand extended because Robin and I found some flights home that are a little bit longer than we'd hoped to stay in Thailand, but are a they're pretty cheap flights, so we want to get those flights, but we need to extend our visa to do that. Uh, I'm also going to get a SIM card, but first we also need to get a scooter rental rented <laughs> so we can actually get to Phuket Town to get that visa extension done. It's going to be an interesting vlog. I think it's going to be very informational and uh, hope you learned something today. Okay, so first step this morning was to pick up a SIM card for here in Thailand. I got the true 5G SIM card for 350 baht from the 7-Eleven on the corner. Pretty good for 10 gigs of data for 30 days. Definitely getting my steps in this morning. I went to get coffee, back to our hostel. Then I went back to the 7-Eleven, got a SIM card, went back to the hostel because I forgot my driver's license to get the scooter rental. And now I'm going back to the scooter rental place with my driver's license. Hopefully get a scooter this time. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, this is gonna be a tough month because I'm not sure Rob and I are gonna be able to rent a scooter at all. I personally only have my like car license at home um, and obviously you need a, a motorcycle license to rent a scooter here in Thailand. Okay, it's been like an hour or so. Robin and I have both been busy reading blogs and watching videos, and it looks like you can rent scooters here. It really just depends on the vendor that you decide to go with. So I've been busy messaging different vendors asking if they require a motorcycle license to rent. Um, found one that said they don't. I think we're gonna give it a shot and we'll see how it goes. <sighs> well, half hour walk, still no scooter. Uh, this time was not because of the driver's license. This time was because I didn't bring enough cash with me. Uh, they were asking for 4,000 baht deposit on the scooter, which is roughly $160 Canadian. Didn't have that on me. I offered 2,000 baht, which, which would have been basically all the money I had on me, uh, plus leaving my photocopy of my passport there for them. They didn't like that deal, so they said no. It is now 10.07. We were hoping to at least be in Phuket by now. And we are still here in Kata Beach area uh, with no scooter and no visa extension yet. So uh, it's just been a lot of walking this morning. Very hot and sweaty, um, but I think I'm gonna head back to the hotel, chat with Robin and uh, come up with a game plan of how to get to Phuket Town. Okay, I am back <laughs> in the vlog. Graham has had quite the adventure this morning and we did not end up with the scooter. Totally fine. The immigration office that we are now going to is in an area of Patong Beach, which is just north of us, right up the coast. And luckily enough, there is a bus system that runs all the way up the main coast, kind of hitting all of the main stops until it gets to the airport, which includes Patong Beach. So I think it's going to be a hundred baht per person for us to hop on the bus and for it to take us there. Should be about a 20 minute ride. But then hopefully everything goes smoothly when we get our extension of our visas. That was easy. So it was 200 baht, so 100 baht each. I showed him the spot and he's like, yeah, yeah, okay. So we're gonna ride along and see what happens. Okay, so there's kind of two different ways you can get along the coast here of Phuket. There is the smart bus, which is what we're taking, which is 100 baht per person, and it has like specific stops. It's AC, it's like a regular big bus. Or you could take the public bus system, which kind of looks like you're on the back of like a truck that's covered, no AC, it's just kind of like a bench. I don't know if they have specific stops or if you kind of just flag them down. I do know that they stop more frequently kind of depending on where locals need them to drop them off and whatever, but I do think they kind of op operate along the coast as well as to Phuket town, if that's where you're going. I think we might try to take it on the way back, see if we can figure it out, but we really just wanted to get to the immigration office as early as possible because I think now we're scheduled to get there at like quarter after 11 and they take a break for lunch between 12 and 1. So like we're optimistic that we can even at least get the process started and then we can go for lunch when they go for lunch. I'm not really sure. We just wanted to get there in time. Um, so that's why we're on this bus. But 
who knows, maybe we'll try and figure out the uh, public bus system on the way back. off a little bit further away than we thought but uh, I think we should be about a 10 minute walk to the immigration office. Just like that we have dropped off our passports, our scans of our passports, scans of our visa in our passports, our passport photos and paid. Two o'clock today, we're coming back and they should be done. So I've taken us to a restaurant called the Tong Corner for lunch today. It is off of the main road. I just found that the prices were way better once you kind of got back into the town area and you weren't right along the beach. So Graham and I have ordered a yellow curry as well as a pad thai, of course. I'm super, super excited to start having like the traditional Thai food. We've had Vietnamese food for a month now. I'm, I'm ready to switch to like curries and pad thais and things like that. So I'm very excited. We didn't film yesterday just because we were kind of just getting settled. We didn't really do a lot. So it wouldn't make for an interesting vlog. But we had probably the spiciest green curry I have ever had in my entire life. Literally burned going down. Um, so today I said no spice. <laughs> Because it's not like, I haven't really found that they do like mild, medium, hot. It's do you want spice or do you not want spice? So hopefully this curry is a little bit more easy to eat. Oh, that smells really yeah, good. Yeah, that smells so good. <laughs> okay, so technically we did have our first pad thai yesterday, but it was off the camera, so it doesn't really count. So this is our first pad thai here in Thailand. Oh yeah. I've We've made pad thai at home, but this just like doesn't even compare. It's so much better. Definitely gonna have a lot of these in our month here. Yeah, this looks amazing. It's got like potatoes and carrots and onions and all the good stuff. The same rice is always separate. And I don't know if you're supposed to like put the curry in the rice or the rice in the curry or just like mix it as you go but what Graham and I have been doing so far is literally just dumping the rice in here I don't think that's what you're supposed to do but like then the rice gets all soaked up nice in the curry so I don't know should I put put this in here or this in here that in there this in here yeah. are they laughing at me no. Enjoy your meal. yes thank, thank you. you need a little bit of all the goodness That is so good. Whoa. Yellow curry is so creamy with the coconut milk. Mm. It's delicious. I wish there was like a little bit of spice, but it's delicious. Thank you so much. So we haven't actually officially asked anyone how to say hello and goodbye. We've just kind of listened to what other people have said. And I'm pretty sure the rough translation is Swadika is hello and Kaplinka is goodbye. Or like roughly, don't know what I'm saying at least. I don't know, I think we should clarify with someone eventually. Yeah. I've also heard that there's like different pronunciations if you're like saying hello to a male or saying hello to a female. Um, not really sure what those different pronunciations are, so I think we're just gonna stick with the basic swadika uh, for now. So I know we were just at a restaurant, but we're kind of just killing time until we can get our papers. We don't have any of our beach stuff with us. And Patong, really during the day, what you do is you go to the beach and then at night there's like clubs, night markets, all of that. So um, we came to a coffee shop to kill the last hour before we can go collect our passports with hopefully our extension approved and everything like that. I will say I am missing, greatly missing Vietnamese coffees. They were, first of all, so cheap. 
and super strong. And I feel like Graham and I these past two days are coming off a little bit from our like maybe too much of a caffeine addiction because the coffees here are a lot more expensive and they are a lot weaker. So I feel like we're having a lot more like Coca-Colas to try and like fuel us through, which is terrible. Absolutely terrible, we know that. But uh, yeah, you know, just missing Vietnamese coffee right now. I need a salty coffee pronto. <laughs> Okay, we've got our visa, but our bus back to the Kata Beach area leaves very soon, so we're gonna go catch that and then we'll update you on the visas. Where are you going? Kata. Kata. Yes. Uh, 200 baht. That was very very smooth. It was over half an hour late, but once it got there, it's very easy to navigate these buses. Okay, so we are on our way back to our hostel and we stopped to pick up some fruit. And this is how much fruit we got. And it was 100 baht. So I think it comes to just under $4. Yep. If you buy the fruit whole, of course, you get a better deal, but it's really hard to peel a watermelon. <laughs> So this works just as good for us. Okay, so now that we're back at our hostel, we thought we would kind of just give you a list of the rundown of what you all need if you want to extend your visa here in Thailand. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it's so common, which yeah. makes it like quite an easy process. Um, at least from like our experience, everything went through really smoothly. Mm -hmm. They knew exactly what we needed. Yeah, we had we looked it up. Sorry, we were definitely not the only ones trying to extend our visa. No, and we had looked it up beforehand so that we could have everything printed and ready to go. So this is what, in our case, we needed. So the first thing is we needed a photocopy of our passport, and then we also needed a photocopy of the page that our Thailand visa stamp was on. And they each have to be on their own separate page. We also needed, I think it said a four by six passport photo. We used one that wasn't quite the right size, but they still took it anyways, which was mm -hmm. really nice. And then they gave us a sheet that we had to fill out when we got there. And that was it, I think, yeah. honestly. It was 1900 baht, so. Oh, in a, cash. In cash. So it was a little bit expensive, but it also was like a 30 day extension that we got, so. Yeah, once we handed everything in, they just told us to come back at two, and that was, you know, take into consideration that they did have that one hour break between 12 and one. And we picked it up early and it was ready, so yeah. you can get it within the same day, literally within a couple of hours, yeah. which is awesome. So easy. But now, I don't know why, but I feel inclined to go for a massage today. My body's kind of been sore, my back's been hurting, my knees have been hurting, so I figured what the heck, may as well give it a try. <laughs> I said this and Robin got very excited, so now we're gonna go for a little couple's massage. Um, <laughs> find it relatively fair priced one and uh, see how it goes. I'm just excited that he wants to get a massage because I'm always down for one. We are back from the massage. How did it go? Honestly, I think it went pretty well. There were points where I was like, wow, this actually feels really good. And then there were points where like, holy moly, I think I'm gonna die. Overall, I think it was a good experience. Robin said that the lady did a really good job, so. Um, yeah, it she, was a fantastic massage. Yeah. The ladies were kind of giggling with each other yeah. because Graham was probably twisting and turning and squirming <laughs> and like I was just laying still. And so we all had a very good laugh about it. Yeah. It was, they were very nice. They were very nice. <laughs> But there was, <laughs> there was a point where Graham's lady was like, obviously like, okay, what am I doing? Like, am I pushing so hard? So she came over to me and did my other leg, which felt amazing to have two people massage me at once, but it was the weakest pressure ever. <laughs> so no, she wasn't pressing too hard. I am just a baby, so. <laughs> 
but it was a really, really good massage. So I'm glad that the first oil massage that Graham has ever gotten was a good experience because not every massage is like this. But I think now we have built up a pretty big appetite. Yeah. So we are going to hit the night market for supper. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what we got. Okay, so we've stopped for some food. We were just walking down the street and we were in front of this massage parlor and all of the ladies that work here were all in line for this street cart getting this food. And so we said, what the heck, let's stop and try it. So we're not totally sure what we got. It looks kind of like a bowl of pho, but it's like got a bunch of other stuff in it. So it looks like there's like some pork and some stuff like that. And then there's noodles. It smells really good, it looks really good. Hey, give it a try. It's delicious, it's like a bowl of pho, but with like more ingredients and more stuff in it. It's really quite delicious. Also, these ladies are so freaking nice. They're adorable. Like we were gonna take our food and go try to find somewhere to eat it, maybe at like the night market that we were heading to, but they like cleared us a spot on like their bench right outside of their massage clinic, even though we're not getting a massage here or anything like that. And they brought us little waters from the They side. brought us waters. It's oh, just, it's just so nice. They were honestly so helpful. They were laughing. There's, they don't know barely any English. It was just a really nice experience that I wasn't expecting tonight. So I loved it. Okay, that was amazing. They were so sweet. They took all of our garbage and everything like that and just hung out with us while we ate that delicious food, whatever it was. So if you're ever in the area, stop at B Wellness Massage and get a massage or just talk to them, say hi, because they were so wonderful and the nicest ladies ever. Yeah, honestly, if we didn't get a massage already today, the rates there were even better than, than the <laughs> ones that we paid today. Yeah. And, you know, I wanted to support them, but like we literally are still covered in the oil from our last massage. Yeah. So I think now we're going to the actual night market. There's a lot of options. Ah. Every time. Oh. Okay, we've made it back to our hostel. I think overall today has been an absolute success. Oh, it's been, we've been so productive. <laughs> we got a SIM card for Graham today. We got our visas extended. We tried to rent a scooter. <laughs> yeah, that, okay, that was unsuccessful. We managed the bus system to take us to Patong. We saw Patong. We came back. We saw the night market. We had super great street food, met amazing locals. It's just been a really great yeah. day. Graham got a massage and so did I, but that's not new. But we are gonna end this vlog here. We're gonna get a good night's sleep because we have a very exciting day tomorrow. So that hope... involves an early startup. Yes, it does. <laughs> so we hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Captain Ka. Captain Ka. Captain Captain I think there's an N. Captain Ka. Captain Ka. I keep saying hello when I mean goodbye. I keep saying Suarika when I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs>